Fairfax County's new economic incentive program was created to encourage development in older commercial areas of the county called commercial revitalization districts. The goal is to attract new economic activity to these areas by transforming them into vibrant and attractive mixed-use centers. The program offers incentives to projects that are consistent with the comprehensive plan and that meet certain standards, including property consolidation, size, location, and land use or development type. But why are financial incentives needed to transform these areas? Over the past few decades, we have not seen the sought-after economic development coming to some of our older commercial areas. In order to reverse this trend, Fairfax County seeks to boost redevelopment consistent with the comprehensive plan through financial incentives. The 2017 Virginia General Assembly adopted legislation allowing counties to offer regulatory and financial incentives to private sector developers with the aim of revitalizing property for economic development. Fairfax County seized the opportunity presented by the new legislation and created the Economic Incentive Program which was adopted by the Board of Supervisors in September 2020. Now, let's take a look at the incentives. Through the Economic Incentive Program, eligible projects are provided with a variety of regulatory incentives. These include the expedited scheduling of a zoning application, concurrent processing of a comprehensive plan amendment with an associated zoning application, concurrent processing of a site plan and a zoning application, inclusion in the Department of Land Development Services Project Management Program, which provides additional coordination and oversight throughout the entitlement process, and finally, a lower overall project value to qualify for Land Development Services Modified Processing Program, which allows for the issuance of rough grading permits prior to full approval of site and building plans. Through the Economic Incentive Program, there are two financial incentives that can now accrue to a qualifying applicant. The first is a 10% reduction of site plan fees. The second is a real estate tax abatement on the difference between the base or pre-development value and the final or post-development value of the project. A structure must be built to at least substantial completion for a final valuation to be made. The abatement is good for a period of up to 10 years or the remaining time in the program. Now, let's walk through a prototypical real estate tax abatement scenario. So in this case, a $5 million pre-redevelopment base assessed value grows to $120 million with consolidation and redevelopment. The net difference, or $115 million, is the amount on which the tax would be abated for up to 10 years. In this example, the full development value would be fully taxed in year 11. Fairfax County's economic incentive areas have different start and end dates for their incentive periods, but they all run for a period of 10 years from the effective date of the program for the area. These different effective dates were chosen based on estimated future development activity in these areas. These dates are part of the ordinance. You can find additional information and resources on our website, including program information, application form and procedures, maps of EAP areas, and a copy of the ordinance. Thank you for taking the time today to learn more about Fairfax County's Economic Incentive Program. Please contact elizabeth.hague at fairfaxcounty.gov to set up a consultation.